Today's topic is Blood and Native Identity. In 1897, the Smithsonian Institute's Bureau of American Ethnology wrote in its annual report that, and I quote, the blood of the Southern Negro is unquestionably Indian, end quote. The Bureau, whose focus was on North American Indian cultures, was established in 1879 by Congress. According to the Bureau, and I quote the full quote, as the coast tribes dwindled, they were compelled to associate and intermarry with Negroes until they finally lost their identity and were classed with that race, so that a considerable portion of the blood of the Southern Negro is unquestionably Indian, end quote. So you may ask, if it was known that the blood of Southern Negroes was unquestionably Indian, and Indian blood is what defines who an American Indian is, why is it difficult for dark-skinned people to claim their native identity? The answer lies in colonial laws, which made slave blood negate Indian blood.